me that they think Crazy Cabby was robbed in the fight, and I swear well, to you, how? I don't. Maybe someone picked his pocket, but I don't think he was robbed. What the hell are they? Says so here the stuttering fool was given the match by the judges. Ugh. Oh come on! I, I don't think anybody who watched that could, with any kind of intelligence, could say that that's the case. Who else could the judges yeah, have given it to? Right. It certainly wasn't Cabby's fight. How dare no. someone question Dwight Quawee? You know, you know, Crazy Cabby is how, yeah. how genuinely crazy is. He, we were doing some work in here the other day. Uh, Scott DePace told us this, and he was telling Scott DePace, well, you know, those guys, meaning you and us, they, you know, they, they, they fixed it so John would win because they want a rematch. They make ah! more money. Oh, my God. He really believes that. We didn't make a dime. How can I fix it without his help? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how did you fix it? I guess you fixed the judges. Because right? I'm a genius. You fixed the judges. I, oh, yeah, like, I haven't met those guys before. Did Don King have a hand in this? <laughs> but what money did we make? He's saying so we could make more money. Yeah. Like I made any money off the fight. <laughs> Howard yeah, I'm, just, a, I'm retiring as a result of that fight. <laughs> Howard just wants another helicopter ride. I'm there telling you. Go, there you go. I just want to go down to Atlantic City with Trump and his girlfriend again. <laughs> you don't think Howard wants to stay in the Kublai Khan suite again? Come on. <laughs> Open your eyes. Oh, now you're making sense. <laughs> oh. That's so weird. He is so weird. He has to say something. I think it really, you know, it even irks him that he lost to a guy 90 pounds lighter than he is. Well, we got reports. We were in Los Angeles. We heard that he got, did he get booed off the stage at the DFP? I didn't see no. him Oh, see, somebody, we heard he got booed off the stage. Maybe at night. I don't know. But I, I was there all day. I, I didn't hear him I get booed. But then again, from backstage, I couldn't hear anything. But I was out there a lot of the time, and I didn't see him get booed. Those reports did come directly from Stuttering John. Yeah. Actually, they came from Stuttering John's wife. <laughs> no, oh, she was there. <laughs> she was there, or she couldn't see a thing. She's so short. <laughs> oh, she was oh, the whole time. Who she was on stage getting booed. <laughs> she couldn't see anything. Jason had heard the, heard the same thing the first time he came out, like at like one o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know if you were there yet. What? Oh, who cares? Game. Why am I involved in this? Whether Crazy Cabby was booed. Uh, I don't care. And Gary, when you go away for the weekend and you party it up, your voice sounds like hell. Don't go away anymore. Really. Don't, if you can't handle this job, how do you handle another job? And same with you, dope face. The whole place here, you know. Everybody's exhausted. He's always smart. He's always flying under the radar until he screws with me. Oh. You. Talking about, you know, you you empty you, you you do this show now, a comedy show, where you take uh, half of my staff and put them on stage, which is, um, you know, okay by me until, I, fr this is a, it's like it's like you're a dingbat, you're you're dumb, you're, you're Lucy, you're getting away with it. I'm not I'm not annoyed by it. I'm like, hey, John's out there, he's hustling, he's trying to make some extra money. You, you're confused, right? You're, you're giving me the I'm confused look well, by most all of the time. Of it's not the, when I do these comedy shows. It's just me flaunting. I don't care what it is. You know, I don't care what it is. Yeah. It seemed to me that on Friday, half my show emptied out, including Artie, who's actually on the show, and Gary, who's the producer, and you're the guy who answers the phone, and KC, who's the producer when Gary's not here. So Friday, I'm sitting and doing the show. Yeah, it was a ghost town out there. The whole show empties out. And then Gary will go, Booth, but we asked you. And the I'll go. The show was left to enter. I told you from the Bubba beginning, Bubba. I don't want to be asked about any of your outside nonsense. I don't want to be involved. If you have a job to do, go make your plans. Not while you're doing this job. Why do you look so confused, John? What is it? What part of this don't you understand? Well, it was California. Who cares? It was for the LA care. station. It was for, for the LA station. Who cares? Some of the people on the bill were not, were not guys that I, I bring. They, they Who requested cares? Them. So I don't know why I'm the only... I mean, they Who were, cares? They requested from the I station. don't want to hear it. A lot of you guys, don't get it. All right, you whatever. always argue with me. In other words, I didn't book Gary no. on the... Did Gary, Gary, did, Gary's you mental. You you're mental. You don't understand, Robert. You're I'm all saying I didn't mental. book everybody from here on, on, on that show. It doesn't matter, John. So then why am I the uh, patsy? I'm talking you, to you. I'm talking you to Gary. You arranged everything. Who no, arranged the flights? Who arranged I, the flights? I didn't arrange the flights. I thought Gary told me you arranged the flights. Gary knows I didn't arrange the flights. No, no. Listen, don't ask me anymore if you can leave early to go to California on a weekend. I'm doing a job. This is the job that pays all the bills. Let's for me put it anyway. another way then. When you were told your flight was at 1130, what did you we say? We raised hell. That was I was, I, you raised hell with who? You heard me screaming who, in the who hall that Who booked the day? flight? 
Who did you raise hell with? The guy in L.A. booked the flight. So tell on, him you can't do it. On, on a plane we weren't supposed you to be on. You couldn't leave at 4 o'clock? Oh, that's right. You had to get to the Laker game. It was a plane. Listen to me. We Listen to me. Supposed to be on. Right, to right? Me. right? I mean, it was... We, 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 I don't care. That's not my problem. I know. I'm you got a job here. Yes, Cardi, I was you want to go work in California, it. you leave on Friday. You leave Friday afternoon. After What time are you supposed to be done? Noon? Usually we leave at like, uh, at like 1, but they... But, but they they put us on a Leave flight. Leave at one. I thought you worked till noon. They put us on a flight we weren't supposed to be on. One, it, it caused an incredible amount of agita for me. What? They put us on a flight we weren't supposed to be on. So you say I can't go. The deal's off. I won't go. I'm not. I can't leave That's my job. That's when we asked you if it was okay because then uh, it was like. Don't ask me if it's okay. I'm not going to be a bad guy and say no. I don't want to be put in the position of telling you you can't leave. What were you going to do if I said no? I, I would have just took another. I, I so why didn't you just flight. do that? Why do you have to ask me? Why ask me? If you know what the answer is, why do you ask me? Am I your daddy? Am I, I your daddy, you, little boy? I was asking you if it no, was okay. No, don't ask me. Never again ask it me. Was like, I'm not your pal. Okay, but it, was, it, was, it was around the time that the show usually ends. so I, I, I don't care. I don't want to know about it. Your job is here till noon. Not till 9, 30, or 10. It was like 10, 15. Whatever. It's till noon. And Gary's supposed to be working till 2. What did he do? And Casey also. I got tons of stuff I could have had you guys do on Friday. A lot of work. Scan articles. Do something. I don't care what you do. But well, why do I have to be involved in these outside gigs? What do I you care? Have, have, have I ever got you involved in any other one? Well, you got me involved in this one. My whole show emptied out on Friday. Hey, Gary, where are you at? You're supposed to be the guy in charge. You don't know how to book a flight? I, I didn't put it together. It Who put it together? The guy, in, the, the guy in Los Angeles. Who's he? What's his name? Howard. Why am I involved with a guy from Los Angeles? Can I ask you a question? And I'm sure. Not, I'm not trying to... Yeah, go I'm ahead. Not, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not Go ahead. You. you know, there's a lot of times when I'm here a lot later than I'm supposed to be and work... I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That, that sometimes it's, it all evens out. Like it's Gary, been, you had the whole office empty out. It I, didn't I, even but out. But I had nothing to do with that. I had nothing to do with that. Well, why I'm don't you? I'm about me. I'm not about them. Well, then, guys, but then you've got to say, if you're leaving, who is in charge? Now, when you found out who was in charge, you said, Casey, you'll be in charge. He said, no, I'm leaving, too. You said, John, you'll be in charge. John said he's leaving, too. You mean you don't know anything that's going on around here? No, I, I thought you were the guy in charge. I, I am. The How guy do you not know? Of course, I you did. knew they were all leaving. I also stop kn dicking me off. No, I, I didn't, Howard. I didn't say I didn't know they were leaving, and I'm not dicking you off. You are dicking me off. You're saying I wasn't in charge, but you are in charge. How? Who is going to take your place when you I'm leave? A, you know what, Let's say that me and you have a deal where you say to me, hey, Howard, I need a break. I got to get out early. Fine, I'm okay with that. But then John's got to leave. Artie's got to leave. Casey's you know got to leave. Again, I'm not trying to put it's like a traveling zoo. I'm not trying to put you in a bad position, and I, we spoke about it, and it was really simple. I said, listen, no, can I just finish, please, yeah. before you jump on me? Yeah. I said, listen, if you feel you need it, Casey can go out on a later flight. And I she, told and you said, something. No, I will not say but, no. But, but I'm I you told you it's a to personal no. defect but of now, mine. You don't have to say no. You have, all you have to say is, yeah, that'd be great. I could use the help with Casey. That's fine. I no, that's, I don't want to be told how to say it. I told you my problem. I don't want to be asked. But nobody's you don't know in that? a bad position. No, you put me in a bad position. You ask me, then I'm not a good guy. I want to be a good guy. Nobody you, nobody I don't. Here's, listen to me again. I'm going to say for the 15th billion time since I've known you, don't ask me if you can leave early. You know what you have to do, and you know when you have to leave. Don't ask me. So that means when I have to work. When late, I say can I yes, leave? you can leave. Wait, it when means I have to no. Work late, can I leave? Can I say you no? No, 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 no. I'm talking about going away well, wait, you and told leaving. Me this place is not a factory. You said it's hey, not. Gary, it doesn't end at three o'clock. Your job ends when it ends. If you're done in that's time, right. that's fine. If you that's have to right. stay later, it's fine. That's right. So once in a while, we stay later. Once, once in a great while. I can't have the whole office here. empty out. You're right. You're right about. I can't have it. You want to leave once in a while early? What was the um? What was the effect of having the whole office leave in terms of, like, the show ended 15 minutes after we left and then you What left. was the effect? And then you left. Let me ask you something. Do I check up on you what, what you do after the show every day? I would imagine you do. You do? I don't. I do, I ever, do I ever have someone check your work and see what it is you do, whether you go to the gym or whether you oh, actually I, I do work? I think I'm checked all the time. No, you're not. But I'm fine with it. I, no. I know what I do. No. You're arguing with me. Oh, no, I'm not. I don't know what you do till 3 o'clock around here. I don't know what John does till noon. First of all, it's not till I don't know what Casey... It's more like till 4. All right. I don't know what you do till 4 o'clock. I mean, I'd love to tell you. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't care. But you do care. No, I don't care. I'm telling you, whatever it was, you left early, and whatever it is you typically do wasn't getting done, or whatever John does. No one was available to help out after the show. I'm not interested in that. I want you here working. And if you book an outside job, go to your outside job whenever you want to when you're not working for me. 
I think what Gary is saying. It was, oh, no, uh, John, you're not listening. I don't give a crap what Gary's saying right now. I don't care what Gary does till 3 or 4 o'clock. I don't have to sit and worry about it. I'm telling you, I don't want to have to worry about I it. I got you. Don't book other gigs while you're working on my again. gig. It will never happen again. I told you. I told you this is the, always is never going to happen again. It's like your book proposal. It's never going to oh, happen again. You know what? I don't so want. BS. I, I don't want you making. I don't want you upsetting me. Okay. I don't want anyone upsetting me, ever. I want to be totally comfortable at work. I don't want to be upset. I don't want children. I just want guys who work with me. That's my dream. I can't have a pack of children all going to L.A. so they make it in time for the Lakers game. I don't really care about the Lakers game. I don't care if you're sitting at the Lakers game. It's irrelevant to me, John. I don't care. All I care about is my phone gets answered. And what do you do till noon anyway around here? What do you do? What do you do after I leave? Sometimes Tell me the I truth what you do. What? Sometimes I sort through some mail. You sort through. Sometimes you sort through some mail. What does he do, Gary? Tell me. Does he ever do I, a goddamn you know thing? I'm not going to get... I'm not gonna, you, you really He's wanna, stuttering John. I forgot. John, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. John doesn't stay till noon. Right. The deal we have worked out is I'd like him to stay till noon. He comes to me every well, day also, I, 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 and says to me, is there anything for you to do? Yeah. I actually don't keep him because finding things for him to do is more work, annoying because he's so bad at it. Like I, I, I'd rather he just do what he has to do. Right. But and get him out of here. And it's on me to figure right. out no, stuff no, for him to do. Well, so well, I, just, I, send him home. I send him home. That's a deal that we made. Like, I, no, I, no, I, I, deal you made. I would rather you just do. Why don't you just do your work? Why do you have to check? You want me to check what you have to do. I'm making a new rule. I'm making a new rule. You stay till noon every day. Right. Don't check with him. And do something. Do work. Work, 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 work. Work for me. That's what I want. You, you usually, John, I would say 11.15 is late for you. Yeah, about 11.15, 11.30. Yeah. Oh, you do, you do a, Gary wants you now to stay till 12, and he wants you to work the whole time. I, 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 not sit and talk, but work. Actually, do I, some real work. I'm not work. sure that I do. I got to be honest with you. Really, he's such a pain in the ass. Well, he's not a pain in the ass, but the, but you know, it's it's the he's heart. He's incompetent. It's, All right, good. No, no, so no, leave. It's the heart of the he day. He wants you to leave. Leave. I, Fine. Me figuring out stuff for him to do is more difficult. Why doesn't Anne Marie give him something to do? You know, he does everything badly anyway. You leave. Yeah. You're right. That's yeah. a smart move. We got a good deal worked out. Good. All Once right. in a while, I'll have a return a phone good. call. All right. Return a phone call. A genius. I mean, after he answers the phones, then he makes phone calls. So not only is he generating phone calls on both ends, yeah. but he's he's just yeah. disrupting the works. All right, good. Okay, we have that worked out. Worked Nobody's going to ever ask me again. No. You're going to just do your jobs, yes. and then when you ha when you book an outside gig, God bless you. I don't care what you do. Just don't involve me. Everybody got it. I, I think we got it on Friday, but we definitely. Got All right, it now you got it again. Yeah. All right, good. Thank you. This is, how 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 effective will this conversation be, Robin? Uh, how oh, effective will it be? I, I'm I'm just amazed. How that, come you didn't get up and leave on Friday, hey, Robin? Well, you're, Robin I, I should have. You should have. Why, why you don't you? Me like her Hold on a second. You know what? And to do with the, and I'm, this is between. Why didn't you leave? Oh, I don't. The guy from L.A. called you up and said you could come too. Wait a second. This is between yeah. you and Robin, yeah. but yeah. between you and Robin, but Robin, have you ever left the show early to go out to L.A.? That's what? fine with me. No, no, I, mean, I know it's fine with you, but it's like Robin acts like it, it's never happened to her, and it's a deal that you guys worked out, but I, I'll take it from you. I don't know why I have to be doubly pounced on by her. She, you know, she's not being pounced. I said, she, I asked she's her a just, question. She's getting wound up right now. I wanted to wind her up. The kinetic punch is coming back right now. Good. Research for the show. What's that? I said, I also use all that information. Oh, well, we have plenty of research. I got a ton of. I got two hours of the show for you right now, Robin. Yes, but you also wiped out the entire office. When I left, I left. And what, how did it affect you, Robin? Forget about Howard. Don't talk about he Howard. He was uncomfortable. It always affects me when he's uncomfortable. I was upset. And don't, could, Robin, could you not do anything you needed to get done? I, I, I understand I Howard's uncomfortable. I said Howard was uncomfortable. I got you. I got you. What about you? Were you Suppose able to not perform Nicholas any Cage function? Suppose Nicolas Cage had walked in that day instead of the day he walked in. Right. Suppose he had walked in at 10 whatever when you guys were already Right. What gone. do you think would have happened? I don't think we I would have gotten... We would have sat there and stared at him. I don't think I would have had all the information I needed. I think that I have an effect. I, I heard everyone taking credit for all the stuff that they told me about Nicolas Cage. So where would you have been during that? I, well, I wasn't... You would have been, been on a plane. Credit. Okay, good. All right. Nobody wants credit now. I never took credit. Yeah, for everything would have been fine. Right. Well, then we don't need you. Who needs you then? 
Right. I just, I don't want to be. I brought her into this. If everything was fine, was fine. Robin's like the little dog. Why is she a little dog? She says, I asked her what was wrong. Why, if everything was fine, if you take everybody in the office, what are you doing here? Is there anything that you need to add? What are you doing? Is there anything you need to add? What are you doing? Hold on, let me finish your thought. What are you doing? I see you arguing when Howard says he was not arguing. No, I'm not arguing with it. And saying what was wrong? What was wrong? What was wrong? What was wrong, Howard? You're arguing, Robin. What was wrong? Do you ever shut up? Or just no, just it, you're right saying that now you're going to bring just me... So shut I'm up. Go, I'm now no, I'm you, why does she have to shut up I'm asking her a question? I'm trying to get her to shut up so I can have a thought. Because you brought me into it. I'm trying to have a thought. All right, what is your thought? My thought is oh, that... Please. You're missing her point. I got her point. No, but Howard, I got it her, didn't affect her. It affected me. Howard, I got her point great. Yeah. You are my boss. Okay? You told me what you need to tell me. I got it. You went right to me. I got it. She's now going to double black on her. Why not? Double black Excuse on me. He asked me a question. I, we were I talking to each other. Just, if you're eavesdropping no, 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 on our no, 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 conversation, no, 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 no. I'm not eavesdropping. I'm right here. Don't bring me into it. I'm not world. eavesdropping. I'm here. I'm not invisible. He's talking no, to me, though. Excuse me. You brought, but her, you brought her into he was your world. To you. I no, no, didn't she say came into my world. You and I were having No, 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 no. You brought her into a world when, um, when you acted the way you did Friday. I, you know what? You I affected me, I, I and I, by fine. me getting affected, you and affected her. And then I listened to you arguing and justifying. Did I argue? Yes. Did I argue? Did yes. I say I got it? Absolutely. You argued. No, All I'm telling you. You said, well, how did it affect you, Howard? Oh, just shut up. She's That's right. what you said. I got you. Just quiet. But down. why should she shut up? But because she, because she's said weak, it, Gary. She just keeps talking about the stuff that's already been talked about. <laughs> but I asked her a question. Okay. I'm not allowed to ask her a question because well, you you're not comfortable with it. I'm so then leave the room if you're not comfortable. She's about to answer my question. Answer his question, Robin. <laughs> Be your usual pain in the ass self. <laughs> oh, if I answer his question now, I'm being no, a pain No, no, let me ass. stop you. Oh, my God. You. I just said to her. No, no, you're right. How let, effective let, will this conversation be? I remember the question. Right. All right. Listen. About as effective as that. He'll turn on me. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's angry that he did something wrong. Right. Exactly. Hey, I'm comfortable with where I'm at with Howard. So You're not at any with I'm not me. turning on you. I was you. talking to Howard. Yeah. Well, it's a room full of people, Robin. No, Gary, I asked her a question. I'm sorry you don't like that, but that's how that's I feel. That's what we do. We talk right. to each other. We talk. That's how we make a living. We talk about each other behind each other's. We don't make a living time. getting on a plane. Oh, we get a living. We make a living doing this. You know. Now, how is it? I'm talking behind your back. You are right here. You go ahead. <laughs> we didn't mention you over the weekend when we saw. What each day other. was your uh, appearance? What What day did you have your appearance? All of them. We had Friday night. We had appearance Friday. What night? time? Um, like ten o'clock. At ten o'clock at night. <clears throat> yeah. So getting there early was what to get to the Laker game. What do I care about that? What do I care about that? You know what? I'd like to stay up and watch the Laker game, but I'm too tired from worrying about knuckleheads like you. That's all. I mean, come on. Use your head. Who cares about the Laker game? This is the Laker game right here. I'm the Lakers. What if the Lakers, half the Lakers didn't uh, uh, show up? Just Kobe and Shaq. Sir. Well, yeah, because they had to go somewhere. <laughs> you're, you're the Lakers. We're, we're the Nets. I think, I think, I think your point is well taken. I don't, I don't think it's ever going to happen again. Oh, I think it will. I don't think my point's well taken at all. I, I do. I think my point's going right through your head. I do. I really do. I, I think I you'll always hustle me. I always think you'll hustle me. You. Sure it is. When the guy from L.A. calls you and says yeah. your flight's at 11 o'clock, you say, wait a second, I, l let's see, what time does my job end? You don't understand. In order to get to that plane, how do I get there? You don't understand the amount of uh, arguing I did about the flight. Well, there you go. All the arguing you did. I, I, I just would have said, how am I going to go? I can't go. I have to cancel my gig because I have a real gig here. After all the arguing, you still took the flight. Why well, argue? The only way your gig, the only way these outside gigs are going to make money is if this thing makes money right here. I know right that, here. dude. I know Trust that. me. I know that. This is, All right. This well, if you you don't priority. know that, I'm explaining it to you again. This is the priority. I understand that. If this is successful, then when Stuttering John appears somewhere, a bunch of idiots will be fooled into going oh, to your show. Okay? So there you go. <laughs> this isn't on the air. No one's going to go see Stuttering I, John. I understand that. Stuttering John just becomes John. <laughs> Stuttering John is a creation that I made. Okay. And it's unmade very easily. As if it doesn't affect me if Artie's not there. All right. I didn't say that. Well, Gary's acting that way. All right. Listen, everybody works for themselves, Robin. I don't. For I didn't. I didn't. I don't. I don't manage. Yes, Artie. you do. Sure but you I don't. Do. I don't manage Artie. You could. You. Oh, no, never I mind. Could want, never Robin. mind. Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. 
Now, you came to me and you said, do I, do, do I mind if everyone leaves? And I said, no, I don't mind at all because that's the way I am. I don't want to be put in that position. I've told you that a million times. I don't want to be the guy that tells you not to do something. I just want you guys to know it. I feel, I, Howard, I feel we all understand. All right, good. All right, now we're understood. All right, you two can leave. Goodbye. All right. Get out. Get out. You sure you don't want to hear no, anything? No, get out. Huh? Get out. Not right now. Go to L.A. Get on a plane. <laughs> Give me the finger. You know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh, goodness. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong at all. Like the whole place emptied out here, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Well, as the only thing I really object to is that they have rationales. You know, they have I know. reasons. They're sitting there going, but Howard, you I know. don't understand. I don't, I don't understand. You're not you're supposed right. to. <laughs> oh, is I pissed off all weekend. Paul, you're on the air. Yeah, Howard, let me ask you something. Sure. <laughs> this Gary, I just hear him say he's only about what he did and not what other people did. What kind of producer says something like that? As a producer of the show... He's responsible for things that inadvertently affect the show. Of course. You don't think by taking half the staff, jumping ship to Los Angeles, that that's going to affect the show? Oh, he's, he's not in charge of them. He What's the matter with Sometimes he guy? is in charge of them, sometimes he's not. Let me tell you something. I'm a manager over a Blockbuster Video. I wouldn't hire this guy to restack the new releases. Now, let me ask you something. If, if you were running a Blockbuster Video, yeah. and half the staff said they had to go to L.A. to get to the L.A. Lakers game. On your time. On your time, you would say, listen, you go ahead, do what you want, but you'd be fired. Well, Send their ass over to West Coast video. Right. All right, thank you. Well, this is part of the problem of running a business. Everybody's having a blast, but uh, it was uh, very, very bad. Sheesh. Very bad. Very disappointed in my crew. <laughs> and then, well, since nothing happened, everything was okay. Yeah, nothing happened, Paul. <laughs> Baba Bowie. How do you know what happened? You weren't here. How do you know what would have happened if we had a staff? Right. Baba Bowie. Whole place emptied out for the Stuttering John show. Oh my oh, God! Dear. Well, look, I'm sorry to do this on the air, but I'm not comfortable doing it off the air. And then he wants to work it like a state <laughs> job. He gets comp time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because sometimes he stays a little later. <laughs> He should be able to leave during the show. Hey, who said anything about comp time, Robin? Uh, uh, but that's what, what you were trying to do, Gary. Up as you go along. You said, well, what? Wait a minute. What, sometimes I stay later. Isn't it okay if sometimes I leave a little no, early? No, I just said I wanted. You said it's to not a factor. I wasn't asking for somebody to keep a chart with my hours on it. Just something to be taken into consideration. Well, you know, the last laugh is going to be mine because uh, I'm leaving here in three and a half years. And guess who's going to have to scramble for real jobs? I don't think the L.A. station will be called yeah. for a random flight. <laughs> uh, the L.A. station, I guess, will be hiring them. Yeah. All of them. I'll have the last laugh. You'll I got, see. i got to say, when I saw what time our flight was, I was, like, brooding over it a little bit. And I said, John, who booked this? He said, the guy at the L.A. station. I said, does he ever listen to the Howard Stern show? Does he know what time it goes off the air and where JFK is? It's going to be impossible. <laughs> well, you know what? i I, I got to tell you something, Artie. I'm going to have the last laugh because a lot of these guys have never worked a real job. I took John right out of college. I took Gary right out of college. And none of them have ever wor worked for a ball buster before. I'm Mr. Laissez Faire. You have no idea. There's nobody looking over anyone's shoulder around here. I just trust everyone to do their job and get their work done. I'm, I'm a good guy. But they don't see it yet. Oh, well, wait, they're going to see when they. And, and, you know, I get them when they get a, will rue the day. I'm going to get a call in, let's see, I think the year is going to be 2005. It's going to be a call in my house, and Gary's going to go, boy, I miss the old days. I'm going to go, really? Why? Because, you know, working at this restaurant, they make us come in and blah, 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 blah. What's he doing at the restaurant? He's got a waiter job. And he's going to go, he's going to go, boy, I miss, I miss when you was my boss. Oh, dear. Boy, I didn't know how good I had it. I had a desk and a phone and my beaver teeth. I had it all. People booking planes for me. Yeah, I, I would get free stuff. See, the thing is, I think I think Gary does an amazing job as he a producer does. here. You know, and I think he is needed here, which was weird about it. Me leaving, I said, you know what the thing is, man? Well, he I, devalues himself when he says he's not needed. Well, that's my right. whole point. I, I don't feel like, I said to John, look, man, I don't feel, I, I'm I'm not needed here, you know, but I'm paid to be here. So right. I you feel guilty about here. leaving. We, we like you to be here. No, but I mean, I would, it's just a... <laughs> But it's, for Gary to say there's no problem with him leaving and everybody else leaving, that's crazy. No, I got to deal with Artie where, you know, Artie takes time off. It's okay. I, I've, I talked to him about that. Well, I understand 
understand that. You know, Artie, uh, Artie and I have our deal. But the point is, Gary took everybody. Yeah, emptied out the office. <laughs> well, Gary's going to say he didn't do anything but accept a gig. Petro, you're on the air. Hey, good morning, uh, creature from the Jew Lagoon. Oh, How you doing today? Man. Hey, listen, why don't you tell your listeners the truth? The reason why you're picking on John is because you didn't get laid over the weekend. Quite the contrary, my why friend. Why would you say uh, that? I'll tell the truth now. I'll tell the truth right now. I bet you... Uh, why would he say that? I got more than I've ever gotten in an entire week, and I think in my entire life. So it's got nothing to do with me why not getting laid. Him and that? Uh, and Robin, Robin, you're just happy that he's not picking on you, and he's picking on Gary and John. You jump right in, so he stays away from no, you. No, that's, that's a, you're completely you off. You are just yeah. <laughs> what an interesting go, theory. Guarantee go that shake guy. Shake some more tea leaves, dude. Guarantee you read very well. Guarantee that guy works at the post office. <laughs> Jack, you're on the air. Thank you, Howard. Number one, you are the best boss in the world. I'm too good. And these people would not. Nobody would want to see their wrangling circus of comedy wax if it wasn't for you. And them riding your coattails. That's what I felt like this weekend. I felt like uh, I was being my coattails were being ridden. I did. You know how Cabby always goes, John, you're riding the coattails. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna knock you off. Well, he didn't do that no. job. He didn't knock you off. Howard, <laughs> I'm more sorry, but that. Howard, Gary, I mean, he's like a Ivy School graduate of BOCES USA. I gave him and, a shot. I mean, you know, stuttering John. If he didn't cut his hair. He would have been the stand-in for Cousin It in Adam's Family 3. All right, thank and you. All this right. is where these people We're are going after you're gone, okay? Well, we'll see. I'll have the last laugh. I'm telling you, you right will, now. You will, Howard, and, you know, we're also... the ones that are going to suffer. And of course. thank you, Howard, thank for you. everything. Thank you. Thank you. I'll tell you what. I um... You'd think they'd want to make it really pleasant for you here, hoping you'd stay. You know, I said that Lennox Lewis... He was going to kick Mike Tyson's ass. Yeah, what a pump. Oh, <laughs> and uh, I don't know who watched it. I watched it. I watched I, I it. Got... And you know what? It got so bad, I started to feel sorry for Mike Tyson. Me too. Yeah, yeah actually. But, and